Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter, and today I'm going to show you some ways you can airbrush on your cards. Um, one of the things I love about airbrushing is it gives you a very soft look and it just colors so quickly and it's a lot of fun to do. Um, the coloring quickly part is probably my favorite. If you look at the sample, I first colored my monkey. I actually think I watercolored him and then I just sprayed in the background. I didn't mask it or anything, I just grabbed my markers and sprayed in some background. Now there's a couple different things you can use for airbrushing for card making. The first, probably the easiest, this is a little um, the bulb atomizer and what you would do is you would take your water base markers and you would slide them in here through this and tighten the nut and then you would just squirt. And you get a very soft puff of color. The drawback to this is that it is kind of hard to control where your ink is going to go. Also, the uh, marker kind of dries out and you need to wait a while before you can squirt any more color. This uh, little syringe is by Stampin' Up! and it takes most markers and watercolor paint pens that you would already have. You can even take out this inner sleeve and it makes it um, able to put a larger marker into the little barrel here. This is a bulb atomizer. Another simple rate, uh, route you can go is to look in the kids aisle of your craft store and this is a mouth atomizer. You basically hook a marker into the tip of this and then you just blow through the other end and the spray comes out. It's very easy to use. You just take your marker off, put it in here, and blow through this end. And I have to say this does give you very good results and it's only a few dollars. So that's um, some way you can go and just kind of get a feel for whether it's something you'd like to invest more money on. Also, on the other end of the spectrum, you have an actual airbrush. This is a Hashi VLS. This you would work with um, an air compressor, or you could use canned air, I suppose. I always use an air compressor. And what you would do is you would put ink in a little cup like this, and you'd pop it on here. And this is what you call a double action airbrush. You would push the lever down once to let air start flowing, and you pull it back, and you can control the amount of paint that comes through. You pull it way back, you have a lot of paint coming through. You have it in the middle, you just have a little bit. You can really control how much paint you're having. You can also control how wide of a spray you get by this little dial up here. Now there's a learning curve with this and probably not that useful for your average craft applications. This is better if you're doing something on a larger scale. Or if you just want something to use all the inks and paints and stuff you already have with. The word of caution with this is you need to make sure that you're not spray applying anything that has cadmium or lead or cobalt or any of those pigments like some artist quality watercolors and acrylic paints would. Also oil paints. You just have to be careful that you know what you're spraying if you're using something like this. So if you want the pretty look of airbrush uh, but you don't want to have to learn how to use an airbrush, what I would recommend is trying the new Electrojet Air Marker by Pro Marker. And I really love this set. Here's the box that it comes in so you can see what it looks like. I'm so prepared when I do a video. This is um, the Electrojet Air Marker by Electroset, and it works with your Pro Markers. And what you do is you just snap a marker in. I'm using one from the Vivid set. You just slide it in, and you would either hook it to canned air or you would hook it to an air compressor. And then you press down, and air flows through this little this tube through the tip and across the tip of the fine end of your marker, and you get a lovely spray applied. That's what I did with these samples here. They are done with the Electrojet Air Marker, and it works great. Um, the only thing you need to be aware of is that dark colors look better. They're going to spray a lot lighter than they look, kind of the opposite of when you're coloring with these markers. When you're coloring, they color a lot darker than you think, but when you're spray applying, they're a lot lighter. Um, and also, you'll need a little time to recharge. So if you're used to a regular airbrush, you can just keep brushing until you're out of ink. You can brush for a few seconds, and you gotta just give it a minute or so. Let the ink flow back to the tip, and then you can airbrush some more. So the next part of this video, I'm going to show you a demonstration. I'm using my air compressor, so it's very loud, so I'm going to mute the sound. So um, let's get on with that.
Alright, so that was a mistake. I uh, got a little purple there, but you get the idea of how easy it is to use the uh, Letrojet air marker system. I hope you had a good time watching the video today. I certainly had a good time filming it for you. And um, until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.